Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. The humorous and cunning Ruby Fox Milligan, played by Emmerdale actor Beth Cordingly, has won over fans' hearts. However, she acknowledges that the role may have been too much for her to handle, particularly in regards to her scheme to bring down Kim Tate. In a recent scene, Ruby enlists Rose Jackson in her plot and commands her to court Will Taylor's ex in an effort to sabotage Kim's relationship with him. Sadly for Ruby, Rose's efforts have not yet yielded any results. She tried to kiss Will in a recent scene, but he quickly pulled away, telling her that they were never going to become close. Actress Beth acknowledged that Kim is a very dangerous woman, meaning that Ruby and Rose are risking everything with their storyline during our conversation at the Radio Times Soap Awards. Ruby is undoubtedly less experienced than Kim. Don't think it's going to be a very easy thing to do, she said, laughing. Thankfully, as Beth hinted, there will be plenty more drama to come. It's quite dramatic, and filming it was a ton of fun. I considered it a great honor to be a part of the filmmaking process. Images of Ruby being carried by newcomer John Sugden from a burning barn were recently made public. Is this going to be the last straw in her conflict with Kim, or will she irritate someone else first? Ruby has created quite a stir in the Emmerdale community ever since she moved there. Ruby has always been up to no good, and fans have enjoyed it. She has exposed Tracy Shankly's affair with Caleb Milligan, her animosity with Maura Dingle, and her running over of Ethan Anderson, Emil John, in a hit and run. Regarding her response to the role, Beth said, It's amazing. I'm having so much fun working on this program. It's amazing. Although she's a crazy character, playing her is a lot of fun. Supporters are certain that Samson Dingle of Emmerdale is going to die. Maddie Barton's life was completely flipped upside down by the troublemaker played by Sam Hall when he accused him of stabbing him during a fight at the Hyde, which was started by his equally unruly friend Josh Cope. While his mother, Laura, and wife, Amy Wyatt, are attempting to reach Samson and beg him to confess the truth, Maddie was sent to prison, an especially hazardous place for the proud trans guy. But on Thursday, July 11, Mora escalated the situation by kidnapping Samson and her brother, Mackenzie Boyd, Lawrence Robb, in her house, intimidating him into acting morally, and then giving him the opportunity to fabricate an account of Josh's violent attack on him. Mora and Samson seemed to be in agreement when the child mentioned that he would be willing to report Josh to the police. Mora was horrified when police arrived at her house to arrest her Aunt Mackenzie, and she kept a tight eye on Samson when she dropped him off at the police station. While Mora and Mac were being led out by the police, some viewers decided it was time for him to leave, and one of their predictions was that he would be murdered. These comments were made on X, sometimes known as Twitter. Samson needs to be careful. One of the viewers wrote on the social media platform, when he gets out, Maddie will sort him out. I truly can't wait for Samson to die, another person said. Recalling Samson's late mother, Alice, a third voice said, Someone send Samson to see his mom. Fans of the Yorkshire-based show, who were growing more and more certain that Samson would be leaving the Dales permanently, rushed to Reddit when it was predicted that he would be leaving. The idea that has been making the rounds on social media suggests that Josh would kill Samson in an attempt to confuse the police. They could make this a good storyline by having Josh kill Samson for threatening to confess. He wrote, that would redeem Samson someone and get the wet wipe off the screens, exonerate Maddie, and also jail the weird Josh character they invented for one dimension. I'm guessing this storyline will end with Samson's exit, said another. I had read that the actor was on his way out. I think Josh has dirt on Samson, conjectured a third, because Maddie was telling Samson to keep his mouth shut before the whole stabbing incident, 
and then they went inside to have the confrontation. Dilbora might present another threat for Samson to avoid. Some fans are still holding out hope that he won't die. Actor Sam Hall has been hinting subtly that fans still have a lot more time to spend with him on screen. Regarding Maddie's prisoner, another observer asserted, I think Les will go to Emmerdale. He'll investigate Samson and that other little asterisk, 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 get to the bottom of it, and force them to acknowledge their actions. If this were my small planet, that is what would occur. A viewer subsequently concurred, yes, totally agree that what I think he's will go and meet up with Cain, and then both of them will get Samson and his little friend and sort them out. It's possible that Cain Dingle will be the one to act now that his wife is in prison. But will you be alone yourself? Star of Emmerdale Jeff Hordley has stated that he stays off social media because of trolling. The actor gained notoriety in the ITV serial opera by portraying Kane Dingle, a character he has maintained since 2000. Despite his on-screen success and the overwhelming support fans of the show give him and his character online, Jeff has stated he doesn't want to get dragged into that world, and that's why he won't be using Facebook or Instagram anytime soon. He is reported as saying, I don't look at social media. In the Daily Star newspaper's HLTTV section, neither Facebook nor Instagram are available to me. Although I have an account on X, I hardly ever check it. I don't want to be dragged into that world, he said. Numerous individuals aspire to be pessimistic. I don't want to cope with that on top of the already difficult work. The soap star claims that it can be helpful for celebrities to know how the public is responding to their storylines. But he doesn't feel motivated to read internet comments because of the overwhelming criticism. Being an actor is very exposing. He went on. It's challenging. Some young actors check the response to a tale on social media. However, it's typically rather bad. Athletes share similarities. As they play a game, they consider what other people have said about it. However, individuals may be really depressing. Jeff is also happy to see producers assisting up-and-coming celebrities with navigating social media and handling potential backlash. He declared, businesses are starting to realize the importance of social media and supporting youth. It functions on all platforms. If at all possible, I believe we should eradicate the negative. Just be polite to others, please. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.